A year ago, I was going through the worst time of my life, literally, I was going through a breakup, family issues, and financial issues, the possibility of passing my year was so low because I was depressed, I was crying, and throwing up all the time and became underweight, which is the worst time yet the best thing that has happened to me, as Chris Motionless says, we had to fall, fall apart to work. Because at that time I started to get into spiritism, I was first into law of assumption, then subliminals, which is a life-changing one. I was feeling so bad, I started to feel the need to change or else I'm making an end to my life, I started with subliminals that actually worked for me, then I realized I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life, and tried to learn other things, I kept going with subliminals though until I learned about the law of assumption, SATs, robotic affirming, and here where I started to see the real change. So I passed the last year but this year, the possibility of passing it was literally zero, but I, kept affirming that I will pass it anyways, and I did, that was my biggest success I guess. My second favorite success was appearance change, as I said, I was underweight, which made me lose my figure, I was literally meat on bone, and to be honest I didn't put much efforts in that, at first I was dying to gain weight, then I just gave up, I was too ADHD to affirm all the time, so I recorded my affirmations and listened to them regularly, things like, I have great wide hips, I have the smallest waist, and so on. Today I was taking pictures of me when I realized damn those hips, that ass, and I literally looked like those of models, I'm not even overreacting, I didn't realize it at all. For my face, I have always hated my nose and thought it was too long, I have a Romanian nose, and that the bridge wasn't straight, my philtrum was kind of long, my face was skinny in a way that made me look unhealthy, and my eyes were so downturned, I had a severe dental protrusion, overall I didn't like my face, and only God knows how things can change, I went to the dentist and wanted to get braces, and I had to get my premolars removed, which was so risky cause most of the people who had it, were so unhappy with the results. I was so scared, but I just went for it and accepted whatever I had in the way, I was affirming I'll look even better than I used to, which actually happened, after that procedure and within 4 months, my eyes got bigger, my face looked healthier which made my nose look smaller kind of, my profile looked so much better, and my lips got plumper because my philtrum was no longer long, and it just made me wonder how do things work. But I stopped myself from finding an answer, cause things are, working in my favor, and I also kept affirming that I'm the most attractive person in the room, that I am really pretty, that I am magnetic, and what's actually happened is that whenever I went out like people would turn heads, some cars would stop by, which was unusual for me, I don't really know because I have always considered myself ugly, but now I'm the prettiest person in the room, I'm the hottest person in the area, and I'm not even faking it I genuinely believe so. It was kind of cringe. At the beginning but after while I realized I was really beautiful and that I wasn't faking it. My mom was a narcissist, and let's just say that life was unbearable, I was so depressed most of the time because of that, I was suicidal, and so on, one day I was so mad, and somehow when I am mad things tend to work faster, and I started to tell myself that she has to respect me, and the same day, in the afternoon, she turned into a totally different person, that was really mind-blowing for me. And what blew my mind even more, is that she apologized to me, I was like what the hell. My dad, he is really nice honestly, the only thing that was kind of burdening to me is that he was really close-minded, and I never said anything maybe out of love, maybe out of fear, I don't know, however, one week ago I started affirming that he will be open-minded and let me do things that I always wanted to do and this took exactly one week to start working, he literally didn't say no to me since I started affirming, not once. Dreams, I decided I wanted to appear in someone's dream, and it simply happened, and they came and told me they missed me. Ludo win, this one was kind of unbelievable, cause I was playing Ludo with my family when I kept affirming the whole game whatever number I wanted, and it appeared, which was so weird, but it worked. Desired items, I have no idea why I never got to manifest money, but I always could manifest the exact item that I wanted, or maybe better. Personality, I was so depressed as I said, and so insecure, and demotivated, 
It all started when I read The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho, I was in the mid of self-discovery, so it really helped, for those who didn't read it, the same thing that Paolo Coelho kept on repeating is that, if you want something to happen, the whole world will work it out for you to get it, which gave my life a new turn. So I became more motivated, I worked on myself, I topped my class, I started working out and putting. More efforts into myself, I simply became happier. I honestly have no clue what I did to manifest half of the things, and I manifested other things that one day I might remember, but I realized I have always heard of the law of attraction before but it never worked before, and I actually realized that I maybe needed to heal from my past traumas, and because I couldn't afford therapy I started self-therapy. By doing shadow work and reading about psychology more so I guess I healed my traumas of course not all of it but it's helped me discover myself more and it's really opened my heart to receive lots of blessings and it helped me with my anxiety which was a win-win situation. For appearance change I think that the biggest help was avoiding looking in the mirror and robotic affirming I looked the way that I desire. For academics I was so scared but I still had the belief. I didn't fully believe in it but I still try to convince myself that I will pass the year which happened, I've seen a lot of posts saying that you shouldn't believe, I think that they are right because I didn't believe that I was going to pass the year but I made it anyways. For a SP change or family change, here I was deep into Neville Goddard so I knew it was going to work and I kept on experiment that it's just going to work, and it's worked overall. I think that each person has the technique that actually works for them, for me it's always the robotic affirming it's always works it does wonders. There's another technique that I've seen someone talking about and it's actually working for me so far it's visualizing your family or your friends talking about something that you have succeeded at or something like that, I'm trying it it's works in like small things but I'm trying to make it work in bigger things, manifest success of my book that I haven't published yet but I will and manifest a car a really luxurious one. And it will happen, I mean it's mine already.